With the first pick in the 2010 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select John Wall from the University of Kentucky. The Sacramento Kings select DeMarcus Cousins from the University of Kentucky. Patrick Patterson, Eric Bledsoe, Daniel Orton, Brandon Knight, Anthony Davis, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Terrence Jones, Marcus T, Nerlens Noel, Archie Goodwin, Julius Randall, James Young, Carl Anthony Town, Willie Cauley Stein, Trey Lyles, Devin Booker from the University of Kentucky. You have this about, about as many handshakes and hugs as a commissioner. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, just be able to there's two things with this. Kind of like graduation day. I'm going to go. Like, you're not going to not be there for your child. And, and the second part of it is I'm nervous as heck. Sometimes I'm holding mom's hand. Calm down. It's going to be fine. It doesn't always go like you think. How are you nervous when you've had that many nervous. I am. I said it the other day. I get more anxious in that room than I do before championship games. Mm -hmm. I do. I mean, because I have, when you're coaching a game, you have some control over it, even though you don't know what's going to happen. When you're in there, you have nothing other than please go right, please get picked, please don't get passed, you know, and then a kid, two picks. You say two picks, that's 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So now it's 10 minutes and you start thinking maybe a slide five. It's crazy. It's crazy for the families. It's not the enjoyment celebration that everybody thinks it is. So how many you got going tonight? There'll be five, uh, two in the green room. Um, you have two. How many your first round? I mean, uh, three, I would say, okay. and, and and maybe Alex Porthris, but I, I would. My guess is he's going to be late first and somewhere in the second. Um, but tell me this: How can Tyler Ulis slip? Hmm. Slipped from 17, 18, 19, now they're saying 26, 20. What, what would you think? Right. The size? Yeah. It's, it's all that. Was I'm saying they want to say it's his knee, it's his hip. It's a, No, it isn't. The guy walked in the room, and they said, that's how big he is? You know what I mean? Now, let me ask you this. Who, the league's getting smaller. Mm, that's right. The last game, many, many parts of the game, like most of it, the big sky was LeBron. Mm-hmm. So I'm like saying, what, you, what am I missing here? You know, he's a, people, whoever get him, they're going to call me and say, this guy, if he's the second unit point guard and eventually works his way to a start, starting point guard, or if he's a starter, they're going to say, this was the best thing we could have done. Okay. Always closing. <laughs> Always closing. Well, along those lines, let's talk about your other guy in Jamal Murray. Uh, this has been, the narrative has been, this has been Simmons draft. Mm -hmm. Whoever gets Jamal Murray, what do you think they're getting? The, the, he'll lead the NBA rookies in scoring because he can't. Okay. And he physically, he physically can do it. And he has the skill set to do it. Um, he's 6'5", he's got huge hands, he's got 17, size 17 shoe, uh, ambidextrous, so I'd walk into Jimmy shooting threes, left-handed. What are you doing? You don't know my game coach. You don't know all the stuff I can do. Um, I think he's going to be fine. He'll go anywhere three, four, five, six, maybe. But I, I think earlier, you know, is what I'd see. Speaking of early, you mentioned LeBron a second ago. You close him. How are you going to close the deal on LeBron Jr. so that he didn't go to Duke? What in the world? Look, I send friends of mine, like Kerry Kittles just sent me the video of his son going yeah. between his legs and all that, and I'll send a scholarship, you know. Bronny got that five years ago. Oh, right. And it's not, I'm not recruiting 11-year-olds, but I would hope if he said, Dad, you know, and, and LeBron says he's family. And, and my thing is if those guys who know me and their son becomes that good, Become Steph Curry. <laughs> They're going to send them to me. I mean, you well, know that. that. No judgment here. This yeah. is LeBron's kid. I recruit him too. I recruit right. him out the womb. Right. Oh. <laughs> but I wouldn't, I wouldn't recruit an 11-year-old. I mean, I just, we, here's the problem with us. we got to bring in a new class every year because I'm losing four again. You know, I mean, you got to bring in five, six guys a year. I can't worry about juniors. Yeah. Yeah. Let alone 11-year-olds. I mean, I can't, wor I can't spend a whole lot of time on sophomores. You know, and then I tell them about on the phone. I, I'd say, "How old are you? 17? I'd say, "Okay, I'm in my mid 50s. What are we going to talk about five days a week?" 
You want me to call you five days a week? I will. But what the heck are we going to talk about? So it's a, it's a little different. We're, there's no coach coaching or recruiting 11-year-olds. They're just not. I, I want to ask you about, uh, you've been asked a lot about Derrick Rose, but before we get to him, if we do, I want to talk about Boogie Cousins. Can you get the Kings to free Boogie, please? Oh, you got some I don't think he wants to leave. How about that? Um, I think he's really excited about Dave. Dave called me, and, and he and I talked. I mean, I, my wife, and I, I hate to do this to all the other players, but my wife's favorite player was always DeMarcus. And and because she knew how he was, he was a great kid. She would be mad at me. I yelled at him too much. She, I'd come home and, why are you yelling at him? Are you watching the game? And you asking me why I'm yelling? Well, other guys do stuff wrong. Yell at them too. You just seem to yell at him the whole game. But he is a super talent. Um, Got to get the organization right. He's the piece. I mean, how many guys like him are there in the NBA? None. Well, exactly. And he wants to win. I mean, think about it. He played with Eric Bledsoe, Patrick Patterson, John Wall himself, and, and even Darius Miller, DeAndre League, and some other kids that were on that team. And he sacrificed. He gave, he's, he's a team guy. How did he do with USA Basketball? I begged Jerry, please take him. I, said, I told him, I said, Jerry, if you take him, he will be an NBA All-Star because he's going to learn even more from that kind of group. And he did, and he is. Well, it's just because we like him so much as a player, we want to actually see him be able to fulfill all yeah. of that yeah. promise with a yeah. better organization. So, anyway, uh, we know you have like two... Oh, one, no, one quick, yeah, one quick thing on D-Rules. You said you talked to him earlier Yeah, today. yeah, I talked to him yesterday. And, uh, you know, I said, what about leaving Chicago? He said, Coach, it's my home. It's, it's really going to be hard. I got family here. You know, my fans, the people that love Chicago, I gave everything I have to Chicago. And he said, but the next phase of my career is going to be in New York, and I'm ready for it. And I told him, you know, there are points in your career you got to reset the button. And I said, what a great place, because they need you, and you kind of need them. Mm -hmm. And it's both. Now, it, I want them to get one more guy, you know, get one more to go along with this, um, and, you know, it's, I, I think New York, it was a genius move because they, Derek's got a one-year deal. Go do your thing. Go get back to where you were near that. And all of a sudden, New York now, you, you take two, three all-stars, you are going deep in the playoffs. You get two or three all-stars, you're going deep in the playoffs. He is an all-star. All right. We appreciate you stopping by. We're going to talk to the other all-star player, Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah. The, the cat. The cat. Yeah. yeah. We know you got 20. That man Carlito. <laughs> <laughs> we know you got 